Hello, I'm Abby Burton and welcome to Schools Challenge TV. Well, isn't she just the girl of the moment? Last week winning the Universal Trench World Championship in Slovenia with 187. Two points ahead of Italy's Sabrina Panzeri. You have seen her already. Abby Burton is once again confirmed as one of the best shots in the world. She started shooting aged 15. Spotted by a scout, she was asked to compete at county level where she discovered the trap shooting disciplines. She quickly entered into the Great Britain selection shoot competition and made the Great Britain team as a junior in her first year where she has continued to shoot from 2003 until the present day. She has won six individual medals, two bronze and four silver at the World and European Championships. She has won a bronze, two silver and a gold at World, European and Commonwealth Championships. She is the current British record holder in Olympic Trap. She beat the world record of 75x75 plus 22 single barrel final and she is four times British ladies champion, becoming the first lady to win three years in a row. Lovely. How do you think sport benefited from London and uh. Totally, absolutely totally. And and I think um, the more that we can win as a, as, a, as a nation and as Great Britain, whoever it is, however, um, it's got to do wonders for the sport. I believe that now our, our actual Olympic disciplines, clay shooting, have now gone up from a Category D to a Category C. I mean, you may have to correct me on that, as a spectator sport, which for the sport is absolutely fantastic. Um, and, I, and I've heard that there's um, Melanie Sykes was in the Daily Mirror and yeah. you know that she wants to take up shooting disciplines and, and I think that's absolutely fantastic because I think you need people that are celebrities etc just to raise the profile of clay shooting otherwise it's not going to get out there um, and that it's definitely out there because there are so many different people of different occupations different ages that do so many different types of, of shooting. And one other thing, I mean, you hear a lot of people saying, yeah, a shoot is great, but it's all they say is, yeah, it's just a really phenomenally expensive sport. If you want to be competitive Olympic shot, I do believe that you still need to put some shots through the gun. Um, there's loads of different types of guns out there, some that range from a low price range right up to a high price range. You know, again, like you said, you can spend as much or as little as you like on a gun, as long as it fits you and it's set up properly for the discipline that you're shooting um, and it doesn't break down on you, that there's no difference in, well, if you buy a higher price gun, it's going to be better because it's not going to hit you more clays. It's, it's how it feels to you and how it handles and how it's all set up and where it shoots. You shoot Olympic trap. Can you give us three tips on a, how you shoot an Olympic trap and B, how you, start, how, you, how you kind of get into it. Okay, um, if I was to use the three tips of how to shoot Olympic trap, um, you've definitely got to remain still with the gun when you call for the target so that you can see the target exiting the trench and line and angle and then you move after the target. Um, my second advice is you've got to make sure that your gun is set up and shooting where you want it to, i.e. 60% or more above the point of aim so that when you actually come up to targets you pull the trigger still seeing the target visible as it meets the barrel. Um, if you don't and obviously it's too flat you're going to have a problem because you're going to end up losing targets behind the gun when you come to pull the trigger. Um, my third tip um, would be to remain positive so Clay, sh um, clay shooting, especially Olympic trap, you can have good rounds and bad rounds. Just because you have bad rounds doesn't mean that that's it. You can't, you know, because I don't believe anyone will conquer Olympic trap. Um, so my other tip is just to remain positive and, and, and just ask for the right feedback from, from people. 
and um, how what, do they try how, it? How do you try it? Um, like. I think the way that, like I said, the only reason I found out about the Olympic disciplines was because someone came up to me and said, will you shoot for county in down the line, which is a, a trap discipline. That's how I found out about the Olympic disciplines. I, otherwise, I would never, never have heard about it. But nowadays, the technology and everything's all moving on as the time moves on. You've now got internet. Um, you know, CPSA, you've got magazines that show different competitions. You can go and shoot um, 100 bird registered and try the different disciplines. It's not going to matter if you don't shoot well in them. It's just to get the feel of which discipline you prefer. Well, thank you ever so much for that, Abby, and I wish you luck in all your shooting in the future. That's okay, you're very welcome. Abby teaches shooting in the southwest of England. Visit abbybertonclayshooting.co.uk. All the top clay shooters attract sponsorship from gun manufacturers. Abbey is sponsored by Parazzi, Schools Challenge Regular and Rising Star of the Skeet Circuit Amber Hill is sponsored by Garini. Oh. And gun maker Zolly looks after Becky Bream among others. Zolly also sponsors whole clay shoots including the CPSA British Open Sporting Championship and the English Open Sporting. David catches up with Derek Edgar of Edgar Brothers which distributes Zolly guns in the UK. We've had a lot of interest in the show, uh, a lot of interest in the Zolly shotguns, uh, a lot of people on, uh, but we haven't had as much interest in, from the youngsters as maybe we thought we would have done during the show. Um, so for next year, make sure you come down to the show and come and meet Paolo Zolly, who was here during the show, uh, and, and to have a look at the brand. Well, that's the end of our CLA Game Fair coverage for 2013. We're all looking forward to next year's event at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire on the 18th to the 20th of July 2014. And now the school's challenge news. Schools Challenge Academy member Dominic Cooper won junior high gun at the Olympic Skeet at Beverly Clay Target Centre on the 11th of August 2013. Four more of the Schools Challenge's finest have gone through to the finals of the Novice Schools Challenge. Jack Brearley, Peter Hicks Beach, Jack Hill and Oliver Orders. The competition has been taking place throughout August. They joined the dozen shooters in the final on Saturday the 31st of August 2013. London 2012 Olympic gold medalist Peter Wilson has launched a gamebook app for your mobile phone. The app is designed to help busy guns keep up-to-date records of their shooting with the minimum of fuss. Congratulations to the England Olympic Skeet team for winning the Home Internationals in Scotland. Amber Hill won the ladies high gun with a fantastic score of 90. The Schools Challenge Winter Series of the Oxford Gun Company will be running again this year. The first Winter Series Day is Saturday the 12th of October 2013 and they go through to the end of November with prizes worth £3,000 to be won. There is no minimum age to have a shotgun certificate in the UK. The Schools Challenge has heard of young people having problems applying for shotgun certificates in the past few months. It asks all under 21s to obtain their own certificate. All you have to do is go into your local shooting school or police station and pick up an application form. It costs £50 for five years. If you are an under 21 who has had difficulty obtaining your certificate, the CPSA can help you. Visit cpsa.co.uk or email Email David at the schoolschallenge.co.uk. Are you missing the CLA Game Fair already? The Oxford Gun Company has an open day and mini game fair on Saturday, the 28th of September 2013, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. An entry is free. The day has just got even bigger and better with 18 trade stands. Finally, a quick reminder that we are on the lookout for young shots to film themselves out shooting on their mobile phones and email the results to david at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. Young Shots Around the UK provides news of under 21 shooting. That was Schools Challenge TV News. Lots of people come to the Game Fair to stock up on clothing, so what was the 2013 show like for major shooting clothing manufacturers Sealand and Harkila? The heart and soul of Sealand has been uh, field shooting, but um, it's something that, particularly in the UK where clay shooting is so popular, that we're moving towards. We've got a, two or three products out on the market now that are very suitable for, for clay shooters. We try and make something nice quality and good value. Uh, Tupelo mesh back clay shooting waistcoat 
is the one that the Oxford Gun Company are using there in the academy. And actually we have a program that I've seen yesterday, uh, the samples, the first drawings of a big new range coming out next spring, for, for, for spring 15, sorry, and uh, there's quite a few developments, so clay shooting is something that we are looking at seriously moving into. That doesn't mean to say that we're going out of claim shooting in any way, but um, just an addition to the range. We're showcasing a lot of new product that you can see behind me, our new Marsh jacket, the uh, Woodcock jacket that we won the IPC Media Award for, and even our new kids camo. So it's a great place to come and showcase to the public. We think our products are great. We hope the retailers think our products are great, but this is where we find out what the public think before they actually hit the stores later on um, in the season. Schools Challenge TV is back on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at 7.30pm UK time. Thanks for watching Schools Challenge TV. Hope you enjoyed it. Find out more information, follow the links on the screen.